This video will walk you through a reciprocal transformation. The example that we're going to be doing is comparing highway miles per gallon to horsepower for a series of cars. So our independent variable is going to be horsepower and then our dependent variable is highway miles per gallon. So the first thing I'm going to do is graph this relationship to see what kind of relationship I'm actually going to see. So I'll go down to graphs, legacy dialogues, and scatter plot. Select simple scatter plot and scroll down here to define my scatter plot. My y-axis is going to be highway miles per gallon and my x-axis is going to be horsepower because I believe horsepower determines highway miles per gallon. So I'm going to click OK. Now this is in here because I've just done this example, but you can move them over using the arrows or just drag them. Okay, so I see my graph here that comes out and I see a relationship, but I, I see as the horsepower increases, highway miles per gallon decreases, but at a decreasing rate. So this is going to suggest to me that this is probably some sort of reciprocal relationship. Um, so what I can do, there's two different ways. The easiest way is to go into analyze and go into regression, curve estimate, oops, sorry, regression and curve estimation. So back here, regression, curve estimation where my dependent variable again is highway miles per gallon and my independent variable is horsepower and then just select inverse which is a reciprocal transformation and remember to select display ANOVA table. I want to plot my models and include a constant in my equation so I'm going to select OK and it's going to actually run two different regressions. The first is just going to be the linear regression and I see the R squared there is the roughly 60% and my standard error is 4.175. The p-value on horsepower is statistically significant. Then I can go over to my inverse relationship and my r-squared I see increases and my standard error actually decreases. So that's suggesting that this is probably going to be an appropriate transformation, I can also look and the p-value is still significant. So then I can look here at the graph that it puts out for me and it shows both my transformed inverse relationship as well as my linear relationship. Now I can go in here into analyzing my graph and just to make things a little bit easier to see, if I click, wait, click actually on the individual lines, again, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble actually seeing my mouse here. If I click on these individual lines, let's bring that up, I can go in and I can actually change the line colors just to make things, you know, a little bit easier to see. So I'll, let's, let's make that green and click apply. Okay, close. And then I can do the same thing for my inverse just to make it a little bit more visible, I see, make that one red, apply and click OK and close that. So, you know, just to be able to see things a little bit more clearly and I can close this off. So that should allow you to perform inverse transformations.